Hi there, my Aries Warriors. Welcome into your August reading. Let's see here. What do we have for you? What do you need to know? Oh, my goodness. You're coming out fast. Okay. So we have confidence, travel, and friendship. And I even am getting this feeling of like friendship and travel, like a friendship is traveling somewhere. Um, so this could be that friendship is traveling towards healing in the sense of you breaking free from that and maybe does just doesn't align with you anymore. It's a friendship that you feel like it's not adding anymore to your life. Maybe there is a friendship. I did see prosperity. Maybe there is a friendship that is um, traveling, evolving towards a business partnership um, or it could be, you know, let's be positive about love. <laughs> um, it could be that you're having the confidence to, to confess your feelings, I would say, to this friendship, to this friend, and that kind of travels, moves the friendship towards a new beginning with that pregnant lady. So maybe there is a blossoming of love here. Who knows? But I feel like you're feeling very confident to break free. Um, I feel like you have been doing a lot of healing and now you're being able to break free from those um karmic past cycles you're being able to trust the universe a little bit more and so with that you're feeling a lot more confident to go after the things that you want and i feel like you're going to find a lot of prosperity in it in both ways in love in money in stability you know um but yeah let's see here what else do we go with this uh, I also feel like with this friendship, I always see it has like you befriending your inner child and receiving information from your guides. So that could also be something. But let's see. Here we get one little more. All right. Oh. Okay, so we have over here reconciliation. That is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if it is like reconciliation with someone from the past or like reconciliation with that inner child, right? But we do have here a disappointment in a friend or a lover, broken bridge, and a successful outcome to a problem. That is interesting. We also have gavel, involvement with the law, vine, seek out information that will help you, clouds, temporary problems, and that was coming out with the disappointment in a friend or a lover, and shield, you need to defend yourself. That is interesting. So it could be that um, there was a disappointment here with someone and maybe you, you know, maybe you decided like, hey, let's be friends. Maybe this is the best way. Is it really the best way? Because like that, that wasn't a successful outcome to that problem, <laughs> you know, because I feel like maybe there's still a lot of feelings here. And this month, maybe you can actually get into a reconciliation, a healthy one, something that actually works. Um, and it could even be that you think that this is totally lost, that this is not going to go anywhere. But seek out information that will help you because I feel like this person could still have feelings for you. Um, and I definitely feel like this relationship here is evolving in some kind of way. Um, I also feel like when it comes to career here, I'm hearing contract, promotion, something around those lines. Something that was not hidden. Something that was not broken either it, it's like it feels like it was perhaps stagnant now i feel like yeah look at that we have quick carp with abundance moving the flow of abundance around and through you so i feel like something perhaps legal like I, I do feel like it's not legal in terms of justice like going to court or something could be but i feel like it's more of a contract more of like something that wasn't really moving forward progressing uh, maybe a lot of paperwork or something around those lines and now you're finally being able to move towards abundance i'm also getting something around don't settle especially when it comes to money because i feel like you can make a lot of it okay prosperity so make sure that you're having a good deal i'm also having uh make sure that you're having a good deal on a house if you're thinking about moving because i feel like it can uh you can get a better deal you can get more money something around those lines okay so around career oh beautiful energy here and around love all right so for career we have over here butterfly emerging take the leap of faith with opposite to tract in temporary situation i'm actually going to put it here again because i do feel like this temporary situation is nothing if there was anything of like um a contract that wasn't really moving forward or something around those lines uh now it's going it's like that was a temporary issue temporary problem right and now things are moving in the opposite direction and i feel like your guides are saying yeah, take that leap. Things are transforming and they are transforming in a very good way. But it's that thing. If you feel like you can have more, have more. Don't be afraid to ask for it, okay? But let's pull some tarot here to see where do we go. 
when it comes to career here for my Aries, Taurus. All right. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords. And bottom of the deck, we actually have this Five of Pentacles. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Uh, with a nine of swords so I, i'm getting a couple of things i'm getting something around like your work habits or the way you were doing things before that is not really working anymore so you may need to change that up a little bit okay um and i feel like that could lead to that like leap of faith um maybe this contract is going to allow you to work in a different way but i really feel like you're going towards new things and moving more with your heart because i feel like before maybe you were trying to do the things that were logical and you were trying to follow um a plan you were trying to follow something really specific and not, not specific in the sense of like a specific career but a specific way of doing things um you were trying to follow protocol that is kind of what i'm getting you know and now i feel like it is time for you to kind of move with passion move with heart move with love what are you feeling like doing you know what are you feeling like um of course if you have that opportunity but it could just be that maybe this is about asking to move to a different team maybe this is about asking for you to move to um a different part of the company or something around those lines you know but i also feel like there is something here about like you're moving away from a mindset of maybe i don't deserve to be here maybe i don't deserve this recognition maybe i don't deserve something and i feel like you're moving away from it you're healing it and you're getting into new opportunities because now you're you're knowing your worth and you know what you deserve you know what you can get so i feel like in career you're definitely having an opportunity that you should definitely take you should definitely indulge in and don't under underestimate yourself okay because this could even be uh that thing of with the don't settle and everything and don't be afraid to ask for more it could be that it maybe it is time for you to go and ask for what you want whether that is a promotion a new job uh, a new position in the team whatever the case may be maybe it is time for you to go and gain that confidence to do that and i feel like you have been working on your confidence so it's a great time for you to go and do it okay but let's look here into love. We have shadow work with Peacock. Self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. So I, I definitely feel like if there was some sort of falling out here with someone, and I, I, even, I even wonder, because we do have friendship energy. We didn't get a reconciliation. So it could be that, or we didn't get a reconciliation here. In the other deck, we definitely got that. But um, I'm even getting, like, was this even... A relationship in the first place maybe it was just like a friend that you were kind of starting to develop feelings for each other and something like that but something didn't quite work you had some sort of falling out and i feel like it was because there were a lot of fears and insecurities coming along that needed to be resolved and i feel like those were temporary problems you were never meant to be away from each other um for a very long time you know i feel like you were always meant to come back together and you could be doing that right now yeah um nine of swords with ten of ones i really feel like there was a lot of imbalance and then we go with the ghost this is about people returning into your life i feel like there could be some communication coming in um and i feel like you're really going to find some balance and letting go of your not necessarily letting go of your defenses but i feel like you're allowing the situation to unfold a little bit more naturally and i feel like you're tapping a lot more into your feelings because i really feel like something needed to be healed here but I feel like you have been doing that work because I feel like you're feeling a lot more confident. I feel like this person is feeling a lot more confident too. But I feel like now you see your potential to deserve love. And I feel like this person is seeing that too in themselves. That's why you're ready for each other. What else we have here? So we have the beautiful page of cups. How lovely. We have the forgive me not three of pentacle the three of pentacles three cups which is the friendship card but also the reconciliation card and we have the ten of pentacles so i really feel like yeah communication about i don't i don't really want this ending let's let's take it back <laughs> not necessarily that but it could be a little bit of a feeling of let's start over if if this was a relationship a true committed relationship and you broke up maybe there is this feeling of like we need to start over so let's start over house friends and let's see where it goes but i do want this i do want ten of pentacles i do want a long-term commitment something that we can work on something that we can build and i feel like there's that beautiful honest conversation here that is coming forward and again it's happening because you're both in this um the forget me not is kind of the empress and you're both in this empowered empress place 
You're making that possible because you have worked on yourselves. So I feel like this month it could be that <laughs> it could be that you just stay as friends, but you're kind of starting over if you can, because I feel like the passion is there. So, yeah, but that could be, you know, your airy side. It's like that passion is there, but your tour is like, no, we're going to stand the ground and we're going to take this slow. But I really feel like, you know, with this divine, I feel like your divine counterparts and it's OK for you to do it. OK, it's OK for you to go towards it. So let's get you here some advice and final messages before we move with the self-care and some fun things that you can do this month. So for career, what is the advice here? Yeah, so we have the unexpected and growth. So like literally your advice is expect the unexpected, <laughs> expect uh, a surprise offer, express some uh, or expect some unexpected growth. There's definitely something shifting here in your career and your guys are just saying, go with it. You have what it takes to go with it. So unexpectedly, you're offered a leader position. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's for you. Okay. You're being offered this because you deserve it. Okay. Um, and there's also this feeling of if you feel, again, if you feel the need to um, ask for something, if you feel like you deserve something more than what you're getting, go for it. Okay, and expecting unexpected because there could even be this thing of, um, you know, with a blue moon, there's this saying of like once in a blue moon, you know, uh, it's like when pigs are flying or something like that. But I feel like, you know, we, we actually have a blue moon. That is interesting. We actually have a blue moon um, this month. So it could be that and it's on the 31st. Uh, it could be that that full moon could be very important for you. And it's like, yeah, do it, okay? Because I really feel like you're going to grow and I feel like you're going to receive a lot of good opportunities there. Um, and it's totally in line with you, okay? So what about love? So, oh my goodness. We have over here past life relationship, let go of control issues, yeah. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like it's not about becoming too attached to each other, especially because I feel like that's something you have already healed you have already let go of. So now you're able to admit that, yeah, this is a really powerful relationship that can lead to marriage, okay? It's that thing. We both want that 10 of pentacles. We both want to grow this. So let's make that happen. Bottom of the deck was actually, um, before I started shuffling, um, from the pre-shuffle was romantic feelings. So I do feel like there are mutual feelings here for each other and it's okay. It's worth pursuing it, okay? It's safe pursuing it more than anything. But stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and romance and faith will bring you romance. So just go with the flow. Have fun with each other. Maybe not too literally, okay? Because <laughs> um, I really feel like there is this feeling of like if you can't stay has friends, that would be great. If you try and push it forward, has a friends with benefits, I don't think the world is going to end because of it. But it could just make things a little bit more complicated to take it with the flow and to take it slow. Okay, so if you can hold back on that, all of that passion, maybe it will be good. Okay, but just try to remain in house friends and I like things will just evolve naturally. Okay, and I feel like things will evolve to a really, really beautiful place. So what do we have here in terms of self-care to finish this up? We have journal, especially about those scarcity mindsets and why you can't do something when in fact you can. Okay. Where does that come from? Why do I feel this way? What what exactly do I feel? What are my thoughts? Do I feel like I deserve this opportunity? Do I feel like I deserve a raise? A promotion? Right? I feel like those are a couple of things for you to ask yourself. But you also have chakra balancing. Uh, we have forgiveness. And I'm kind of getting that it could be your third eye that needs, uh, especially with the girl there, with uh, amethyst, that needs a little bit of balancing, which is about listening to your intuition. Okay. And we have crystal healing. So it could be that, you know, using, wearing um, amethyst, meditating with amethyst, for example, fluoride, um, any purple crystal, really, that usually is really helpful. Um, that could help you out a lot to balance your chakras, okay? But with this forgiveness, I feel like it's about forgive your past, let go of the past. It's time to move forward. Like that is, that is in the past. The past is in the past. Now it's time to move forward into the future and into the present moment more than anything. And this past is not in your present moment anymore. So it's time to move forward from it. Okay. It's time to move away 
and get into new beginnings. And I feel like you're going to be very happy that you do. But let's get here a couple of fun things for you to do. I'm even getting for you to perhaps go out with this person and do it. Has friends. Has friends, of course. But we have house, bedroom makeover. We also have pizza and movies. Has friends, of course. <laughs> but we also have shopping spree. Let's see. We actually have a lot. We have blanket Ford. I feel like you could also um, bring out each other's in each child a lot uh, with each other. Window shopping. We also have farmer's market, new restaurant, movie night. Oh, we have movies twice. Uh, hot chocolate and cook a new dish. So these are a couple of things that you can do this month to have fun to go out and celebrate life. Um, but yeah, so Airy Stories, this is what I have for you. I really hope it resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And if you want to dive deeper into this or get um, weekly messages for Twin Flames, for self-care, all of that is going to be on my Patreon and on my website uh, for the prior readings. So you can find those links in the description box below. But that is it. I love you very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.